In Manchester, spring has sprung. Mia's already halfway through her first school year and she's developed a real passion for it. Who knows how to write cats? She's even teaching us a thing or two in the process. Never mind two. Yes. <laughs> you like Carol Vorderman? I don't can never write two on that. Don't she like borders? Are you saying number one, number two? Two, yeah. Two? I'm going two. No, it's not the same as I'm going two. I'm not, I'm saying And I'm the Spanish one. Two. See? I was right. Thanks for teaching us. Thank you, teacher. It's too okay. That was very good. You're a okay, very good teacher. Bye. Excuse me, you're not going out without a jumper on, it's freezing. You need to have a wee and get your jumper on. Well, you need to put your jumper on. The thing with Mia is, she's obviously tiny, but mentally she's like a proper adult, isn't she, Gawks? I mean, it's frightening, really, how much she's changing, isn't it? Like, to a young little girl. She's not a, a toddler at all now, she's a... a young girl, and soon she's going to be a young woman, and... I just hope she always wants to hang out with us. I loved hanging out with my parents when I was a teenager. I went out with my mates loads, but, you know, staying in on a Saturday night, watching telly and having a takeaway, I loved doing that. And I hope... I hope Mia does. Yeah. Oh. Wow, look at you! <laughs> I'm Gemma Atkinson. Like Gorka would love this. And I'm Gorka Marquez. I feel like I'm on, like, a rubber singer right now. We met and fell in love on Strictly in 2017. Jump! And now, with me and Tiago... I want that in your couple's choice, Gorka. We're loving life as a family of four. Do you know what would make this even more perfect? If you had a takeaway pizza. So, what's new with us? Well, four-year-old Mia is into everything. And six-month-old Tiago is growing fast. Tiago, let's go. Mummy's on telly. Quick, 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 quick. And although I'm officially on maternity leave from my radio show... I'm, I'm taking it. You can't stop me. I've never been busier. I want to send a picture to Gorka and say she's still got it. Only just. And I've landed a big new job on the Spanish version of Strictly Come Dancing. You can tell he's annoyed because he went... Mm. Showtime. Oh. Welcome back to Gemma and Gorka. You're beautiful. Thank you. Live behind the lens. Ah! Oh, look at you. I brought a note down. What note is it? About karate. Karate? Are you kidding me? A school demonstration was held today. Oh, Mia, do you want to start karate? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Mia. I loved my karate lessons. I did karate for seven years as a kid. And then I went on to do some Thai boxing as well. In fact, martial arts kicked off my interest in fitness. If you'll excuse the pun. Up my face. I'm going to be coming to all of your katas and all of your competitions and they're going to be saying to me, can you leave the room, please? You're too loud. I'll be going, go on, Mia! Go on! I think your brother wants a bottle. Should we make him a bottle of milk? Karate! I'm ringing him now. Oh, hi, are you OK? Um, I'm just wondering, sorry, my daughter's come home from school today with um, a leaflet, you know, about joining classes. Mm. Perfect. Brilliant, we'll do that then. <coughs> Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, have you realised that Mia is not like you as a child? You were a tomboy, like rough, like very boyish. Mia is very rough. I yes. was rough. Mia is more girly, like exactly. princess dresses. Exactly. So... She can still be all that, but she you need she needs to know how to defend herself. Mia, look, look, you have to go this way, that way. Wax on, wax off. Up, up, <laughs> and down, and down, and punch. That's what you're going to be doing. But if you don't like it, then you tell us and you don't have to go back. Try something else. Because there'll be lots of things in life that you'll want to try. When we used to do guitar lessons, I did about a month and then I didn't like them, so I stopped. I want to start my once again. I bought you a guitar, you've used it twice. Yeah. Gorka said to me ages ago he wanted to start learning guitar lessons. So I bought him a really cool guitar. Do you even know where it is? Yes, in the loft. The habit we both do have in common, we both love the gym stuff. But then when it comes to, like, Everything else in life. 
Opposites attract, that's what they say. Whatever our difference is, we both agree on one thing, our parenting style. Above all, we just want to share our passions. And the one thing Mia and Gorka love to do together is dance. That's it? So, Tiago, you're going to be the judge, yeah? You have to give us tens. Maybe. It's been a while since I've danced professionally. And as I am heading into shows for the next few months, I need all the practice I can get. All right, Mia. So, Papa has to go back to dance from next week, yeah? So I need you to help me to get ready for that. I need to start getting used to dance again, yeah? So I thought we could do a dance session together. Sounds good? Okay, you know it? This is the beat that we're gonna dance, yeah? We're ready? I'm a fireball. I was 11 when I started dancing. My dad went to do yeah. ballroom lessons to surprise my mom, so I used to come along with him, and that's how I got into it. Yeah, because my dad didn't dance, but he wanted to surprise her, and then uh, they we started to go together, so I used to come with them and sat there on a little bench in the class and watch them, yeah. So, should I teach you the steps? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, then. Do you want to do it facing this way or facing that way? Facing that way. Okay, come on here, then. So you're standing here with me, we're gonna go, yeah? We're gonna go to the left, push, push. Right, push, push. So you try it out with the music? Yeah. Ready? I'm to the left fireball. now. Left, right, push, push. Right, left, push, push. And again, left, right, push, <laughs> push. Right, left, now. Ready? Yeah? Tiago, what do you think? Oh, I think he gives you a 10, Mia. Yeah? Yeah! 10 from Tiago! When I was like 14, 15? Yeah, probably around like 15. I remember I was in high school and uh, I knew I wanted to be a dancer and I want to be recognized as a professional dancer. And I remember even the teachers call my parents to school and say, like, he needs to focus on his, his academics because he won't be able to live of dance. It's not a job that will pay you to live. And I was like, yes, he will. Thumbs yeah, up. I don't like it. Come on. You can do it. Thumbs <laughs> up. To help me prepare for my first time back dancing, I'm going for a heart-to-heart -heart with the other important girl in my life. It's definitely colder here than before, isn't it? Mm. A lot, lot colder. She has some coffee, Tiago, and Kay. Gemma's a great listener and always helps me get my head in the game. Have you picked the backing dancers yet? You no, we haven't done anything. We're just doing the promo now. Tomorrow, I'm breaking the ice with a publicity shoot in London for a new show with the Strictly Pro, Karen Hauer. But she's easy to dance with, Karen. Yeah, and she's good. She's like freakishly strong. Yeah. She's like a version of me. Hey! <laughs> Karen and Gorks have already devised several shows together. They always bring out the creative best in each other. And we are a good friends, which is an added bonus. If you get on with them, it makes your job easier. I think it's because there's a trust there. Yeah, I mean, we get on very well, so we know each other. Like, we know how to, we understand each other. It's a long time dancing together, so it makes it easier. Like, we don't have to say, even if I change the routine, she knows how to follow me. Or if I decide to change, I know she's going to follow me, so. It's completely different watching you dance with Karen. Yeah. It's like flawless. <laughs> Did you say mama yet? Mama, 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 mama. 
Whoa. Happy boy. I think your cake's coming. Well, our cake. Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have one in your mouth. Don't be greedy. He's happy when he's eating, isn't he? He's like me. Did you have you? Poof! Oh my. I think there might be a little present in there. Poo poo. You need to go home and get changed. You do need a clean bum. Ooh. He's just had a load of milk. He's going to be sick on you. Poo, Tiago. You smell like a goat farm. I'm in London for a photo shoot for my new show with Karen Hauer. It doesn't start until next year, but with the smell of the grease paint and the sparkle of the sequence, I'm already feeling at home. On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Today, our team are putting together a few looks for the tour, including one of my favorites in the style of Peaky Blinders. Love it. How Peaky Blinders pose? I don't know. I think the chin up from both is really nice. It's already powerful. Yeah. So nice. So we are about to learn what I have to dance. This is more like a Charles Sunish era, like Lindy. Today, we are being assisted by Sean. So he works on the street with us. He does our assistant choreography. How long have you got to learn this? Five seconds. Four now after we're talking. <laughs> I think we should do. Pam, 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 pam. One more time. One more time. The show hasn't been choreographed yet, so we are improvising for the cameras. I cannot send you that way. Yeah. I can send you, but we need to do it longer here. Yeah. Super fast. But after a few months of sitting behind the judge's desk on Dancing with the Stars, I need to find my feet again. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. Too fast. One, two, three. Four, four, five. So one step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm too old. Where's my water? Chaos. Stuart is our creative director. That bit was lovely. Uh, can I do that to you, Chamo? I don't know what you did just. I don't know what I did, but I was like lingering yeah. up your body. Yeah. Um, I was, I was more like boom, boom, baby, uh, you go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That was like trickling. Turn, 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 huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh. cool. Okay, we'll do this to music, we'll do this to track. That's Stuart. Stuart, quiet, please. Stuart. Stuart, quiet, please. I did some shots with Karen, so... I'm on my, my lunch break. Smart, casual, no? Smart, it's informatable words, casual. It's a mix of everything. We have different styles. We're going through the eras. I love Gene Kelly. Like I remember me watching like uh, Singing in the Rain and uh, with uh, Gene Kelly. And the scene when he's dancing in the rain on the street, it was my favorite. So yeah. And I just love it because he's very classy, very elegant. It looks effortless. So I love that type of dance. I think we should do it once more. And Karen, I think you need to give the doors a slightly bigger. Yeah. I'm going to watch once. I'm gonna watch one. It's like Titanic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cool. Gorgeous. Insane. Wonderful. I think we move on. While Skorka and I are both pushing hard to do our best, for ourselves and the kids, sometimes it just isn't easy. This morning I woke up, started my period, and there was part of me that thought, oh, it'd be really nice if today 
I could stay in my PJs and watch trashy TV on the couch all day. And I was like, no, because at the end of that day, I'd think, what have I done? I've wasted it. At the moment, I'm over halfway through a fitness and nutrition overhaul with my personal trainer, Evil Steve. I've loved having the accountability to Evil Steve and show up on time and be prepared. And for me, it gives me more of a motivation to stick to it. But today, I need to dig deep and remember the words of my all-time hero. It was Sylvester Stallone, he said, time is the, the, you know, the most expensive currency, because once it's gone, you're never going to get it back. Let's find Steve. Steve's workouts last an hour, repeating sets of different exercises to strengthen the muscles all over my body. There he is. Oh, he's getting everything set up. Can't see me. <laughs> I just go and get changed. Yeah. I always love the results, but sometimes it's just pure torture. How did you feel after last week? Good. Yeah. Food's been all right. Yeah, good. OK. Well, we'll Yesterday, I just wanted more carby stuff, but obviously that was because yeah, Aunt Flo food. was on her way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. We're going to go five as usual. Yeah. Oh, see, that's nice there. <laughs> it's just getting him back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Is this warm up? Yeah, slowly on the way down. Pause for a second. Keep your abs nice and tight. Good. Easy. Easy. All right, we'll do two warm ups on the press and then we can get go. I love how you that say. That doesn't feel heavy, though. You say easy when you're not doing it. <laughs> Let's go. Two more. Don't give up. Two more. So rotate through here, rotate through here. Nice. Go one more. When I started the program, I weighed 75.5 kilograms. That's just over 11 and a half stone. Time for an update. I'm now 73.6. Body fat started at 15. Now 12. Well, that is down a lot, isn't it? What about my muscle mass? Has that gone up a little bit? Yeah, from 63.9 to 64.1. Well done, me. Good job. On the shoot in London, I found an easier way to shape up. I got a corset, yeah. It's because I did last year a number and I was wearing a corset. So I think it's inspired for this. I'm the man of a corset. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Are you sure there? Yeah, that oh, looks great, you know. So. Thankfully, it's our last look of the day. And just like the corset, I'm starting to feel the strain. I can feel that I haven't danced for like two and a half months. So my brain's a bit like on a holiday mood. It happens always, like when we start the two rehearsals, the first 24 hours, it's like a shock to the body. It's like if someone goes and goes like, and shakes your brain. After that, it's fine. You know, like when a computer blocks, because it's too much information, the same thing. But this is the last bit. And play back. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Come, go, go. Ha. Yeah. I think we now just do the and walk a bit, the end bit. And again. Three, two, one. Yes. Lovely. Let's do a Gorka catwalk freestyle. Okay, freestyle Gorka. Do you want some music? I'd love to watch him dance. You're walking with that corset. Freestyle. Yes, that's right. You'd like to make sure you leave the floor. Take it off. You. I freaking love it. And playback. Good. I think that's a wrap, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shana Paul. Thank you. That's a wrap. Chin Chin, Mary Poppins. Incense this morning because T 
Tiago decided to poo. Where did he poo, Mia? Where did you decide to poo today? On my foot. As anyone who's done it knows, looking after a baby can be challenging, to say the least. Ollie pooed on floor, bless him. He got excited. Then Tiago were crying because Ollie nicked his sausage. I'm like, get me out of that madhouse. Yeah. So when an invitation to the Brit Awards arrived, with the chance to get frocked up with my stylist Ryan, it was a no-brainer. Did you ask Mummy how was her fitting today with Ryan? Oh. Uh, I heard one dress fit. You heard one dress fit, you've heard right. It's awful. I don't want feels like that. I got stuck. Really? He bought three dresses, bless him. I couldn't get in them. Like, what? I couldn't get it over my bum. And then the other one, I couldn't get it past me here. Mm -hmm. Your chips? And it, it ripped. Ryan's very stressed because he's now only got two days yeah. to get me a new outfit and I'm not going to have time to have a fitting. Yeah. I have to just arrive to the hotel and yeah. try it on. Where are the Brits this year? Are they, they didn't... They're at the old two. I preferred the Brits back when it was like Spice Girls and Take That performing, when I was like a real teeny bopper. Was it 97 when Jerry Halliwell wore she wore a Union Jack dress. No idea. And they did, who do you think you uh, are? And I remember sitting at home like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. So when are you going to know now what you're wearing? When it comes to my hotel on the day. Oh, fantastic. I know. So you might be naked then? It'll be fine. No matter what I wear, Gorka, they're going to sleep me on the carpet anyway. Do you know what I mean? You can't, you can never win. And to cap it all, I can't even accessorise with a hunky Spaniard because Gorka's going to be working away in Spain. You know what I'm relieved? That I'm not there for you to moan at me or, like, twist my hand? If you don't like it, don't tell me till after. Because if you say to me before I go on the carpet, I don't like it, then yeah. I'll feel a bit... Ugh. Yeah. Ryan's just texted me... ..and I don't know about it. He said, I've ordered a dress. He says, I'm going Kim K vibe, Balenciaga. Oh, no, you won't like it. Kim Kardashian? I mean, come on. I know what it is. It's like the black liquor. I trust him 100%. Dress. Whatever it is, it'll be fab. It's gonna, it's gonna be a high neck, sleeves, so gloves all the way here. You won't see your hands, you won't see your neck, or like <sighs> liquor to the bottom. I'm quite nervous about it because he said Kim K vibes because, I mean, can, me and Kim K couldn't be further apart. She's tiny. Yeah. This is Check if he's in your pictures. I mean, long black sleeve fitted with big, chunky gold cuffs. What did I say? Oh, my God, Gorka said it'll be long black sleeves. He with, maybe like a high neck. Is it a tight. high neck? You need to watch, like, telly and style things, you know what I mean? It's like a, like a lycra. So it's everything, like, tight here. It comes with gloves and everything, and then he will put, like, rings and big, chunky bracelets over the gloves. That shows who is in the style world, yeah? Who was in the style world? Well, I was going high neck, but no. It actually, it's better for you, no high neck. So that's the front, and that's the back. Can I say something? Yeah. In my opinion, bold necks, like that one, yeah, doesn't fit very well on you. Why? Because I saw them, you wore them before, and you look better when you have something goes here, more asymmetric, because you already quite show the hip, you know what I mean? So then it makes you even more... It's gonna make you look more square and you're gonna feel like, oh, I feel like a chunky. That's what you're gonna say. Chunky! Ch with that makes sense. With the big old hoops. The best thing is always go asymmetric, because then it makes you more curved. I see, Gorka. What did I say to you? Until I've done the carpet, don't give me any input. No, I'm not giving you input. <laughs> you have your shoulders like this, like this way, broad, but then you make a dress that goes like this, like, on a, like a hard V, yeah? It gives you more shape. Makes sense. So what you're basically saying is, I'm going to look like this? No. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> More like that. I've never been about the high fashion. My happy place is in my trackies with the dogs. Always has been. Even as a little girl. Because I'm happy I'm alone. I'm secretly hoping Mia will share my love of animals, so any chance we get, we spend time with them. In you get. Yeah. Let me double check I've got you wellies in the car. We're going 
to Bleak Holt, which is our local animal sanctuary that I'm president of. I always like taking Mia when I can because obviously we've got Norman and Ollie and they're very spoilt pooches and not all animals are treated the same way. Some of these animals, Mia, yeah. some of them, the owners have left them. Some of them, the owners can't look after them anymore because they haven't got the pennies. So they bring them to us to help instead. What is it we say, Mia? We say some yeah, creatures... No, we say, oh, some animals are small, some animals are big, but we all look after Yeah, some creatures are big, some creatures are small, but we have to try and look after them all. Right, Mia? We're here, should we do it? Should we go and see them all? See some dogs and cats? Let's do it, Mrs. Mott. Push. It stinks. Yeah, but it's fresh air, it's countryside. It's good for you. I won a game show that I did years ago and I won £25,000 and I donated it to Bleak Holt. And since then, I've helped out whenever I can. And it's nice to come up on days like this. It's therapeutic for me. It's nice away from the hustle and bustle and madness of work and craziness. To come up here and be surrounded by animals, there's nothing better. So I'm going to meet Karen, who I work with a lot up here, and Sally. See how it's all going? Have a nice little look around. Yeah, I really want to see the horses. Let me see your horses then. The sanctuary rehomes more than 1,300 animals a year, from guinea pigs to donkeys. <laughs> Okay. I brought in the uh, the helper. Come Should on. Go see some kittens. Have you been all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy as ever. <laughs> so Gork would be hating this bit now because he's scared to death of cats, Gorka. <laughs> oh look, there's one down there. A while ago, I opened a new cat shelter here. <laughs> so today, me and Mia are checking in to see it in action and find out how it's working. So this is our little meet and greet room. So you can have a play with the kittens in here. This is where people come to either fuss the cats or if they're looking to adopt one, they'll come in here and meet them and spend some time with them. Do you want to see a kitten? No, that's a stroker. And these ones came in from a house with, I think it's 17 is. cats. Have you just done a wee wee on me? You haven't, have you? Your wees. I think you've done a wee. <laughs> oh, it's all right, she has. It's either cat wee or baby poo. <laughs> so this is where you come if someone wanted to get a cat. They come and sit in this room and see if the cat likes them and if they, you know, they can't just take one, can they? She wants to come to you. <laughs> Let's stroke her. But it's doing all right, though, the cattery. Really well, yeah. The new pens can help more cats now because we've got all that new area, we've got a lot more space. We've always got a huge number of cats wanting to come in to us. Can I hold your horse, Nick? <laughs> you want to hold a horse? I don't think you'll be able to. You'll be able to stroke him under his chin. I can't put Mia's request off any longer, so it's off to the stables where lots of elderly horses and ponies live out their days. Look at those, Mia. How beautiful are they? Oh, they look gorgeous. So what a great place to live. You've got all the so many fields in the background and the... You can run around, all close to each other. And then over there, we've got one out. Should we go see Bilbo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is he a bit blind? Yeah. Oh. He's cheeky. How old is he? Uh, he's 20. He's a bit really old now. Oh. How old is he? He's in his 20s. That's why he's a bit blind, cos he's getting old. He's kicking off him. He's like, Phil me in the breeze. He's got a Beyonce fan, that one, yeah. look. His hair in the wind, it's like Beyonce. There is something about horses, they are so I'm relaxing. Like this one's called chocolate. <laughs> think it's because he likes chocolate? Yeah. yeah, they've got like human eyes, I always think. If I was an animal, I'd like to be a horse. See you later, guys. Yeah. Have you had fun? Yeah. So many lovely animals, isn't there? A horse. <laughs> a horse. <laughs> I don't think we can take a horse home. <laughs> Lee 
leaving my wellies behind, I'm now in London for the Brit Awards. I'm in the hotel to get glammed up by my makeup artist, Natasha. Right, my love. Come and have a seat. <clears throat> Got quite long and thick hair, don't mm. you? Yeah, it's really thick. Feels lovely and healthy. <laughs> As a radio presenter, I love music. And I'm lucky enough to have been to the Brits five times with work so far. I think my first ever Brits, it was the year Leona Lewis was performing. She was singing Bleeding Love. And, yeah, I was so excited. So for some people, you know, if you're in the music industry, this is your big night. It's kind of like the NTAs of TV or the BAFTAs. Come in. Have you got a, t a key right? Who's Hello? ready to get glam <laughs> today? <laughs> Who's had a coffee? Oh, mate, <laughs> she's had seven. She's whizzing round the room. After an unsuccessful dress fitting earlier in the week, stylist Ryan is here, with the only option left. Don't worry. Okay. I'm excited. Listen, it's God's plan, OK? Yeah, I said if it doesn't fit, I can just sit in my PJs and watch it in here. Or I'll just do not do the carpet. Oh, babes, I'll, I'll do I'll... some pictures. It will fit. Yeah. It'll fit. And it's full length. Full length, very Balenciaga vibes, long armed cuffs, hair up, big earrings. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at me about myself. Wow. <laughs> no, that's fab. Thank that's you. Stunning. Okay, fab. What a difference. What a difference an hour makes. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the dress. I've oh. got two, in two different sizes. Just fitted demure classic. I like that. And then just imagine all the gold bangles around the bottom. Very Kim K. Demure yeah. classic. Yeah, fitted in. And you even posed well. Thank you. Right, let's go and Break try it on. I'm going to try this dress on. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed, you've missed me. Look how teeny tiny you are. It fits. It fits. It fits. It fits. Gorgeous. Oh Demure clap. Look at that bum. Show these bums. Show this. <laughs> Look. Look at that. <laughs> I can eat off that. That shell. I'm going to start blinging you Jules. up. Well, that's the joys of having a stylist who you work with a lot because they know what suits you. He is, however, re piercing my <laughs> hair at the moment. <laughs> I was lit <laughs> as you were talking, I was like, you can tell I've not had uh, fun in a while because I can never find a hole. I think this one's <laughs> closed. Yeah, I don't wear earrings. Oh my god, Gemma. Let me do it. She yeah. she needs to go in. I'll do it. Mate, this is I will do it. Don't worry. I will get it. That's worrying, mate. I don't wear jewelry. The hole in my ear is sealed up. Right, Gemma. No, it's not. It has. No, I'm gonna go through the back way. Oh, you're gonna go through can the I, back. Can I go through the, in, the, in, in some light? Yeah. Come and find the light. Oh my god, Gemma. I'm gonna go through the back. See you later. Thanks so Bye, much. Bye, darling. Well, that's some of then. No. Oh! Just gonna have some blood dripping down the ear. Uh... Oh. Fashion have no mercy. Do it. Oh my god, I'm actually oh my gosh. relieved because it's come together beautifully. Of course, it's come together. How do they feel? That's... They're too small. Well, I don't know. Well, <laughs> so I stand and pose like this. It's quite more Tisha esque. Yeah. <laughs> Pinch the waist, yeah. Pinch the waist. And then just a touch of glam. Oh, delicious. Oh, she's ready. She's ready to party! Come on down! Oh, yeah. Should we do some pictures? On our way to the Brit Awards. Hey. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. hi. I've got the Hits radio team to keep me company. I've just done the red carpet interview. So, yeah, backstage at the Brits. Give me your the Brits. The adverts are on telly, and here it's party. Back in my hotel room, I've had to run a bath 
because it was so cold in the O2. I can't tell you how cold it was. Oh my gosh. Um, but no, it was a good night. It was nice to see everyone from work. But no after party for me. I don't do after parties now. <laughs> I can't do them. I'm going to get on the road nice and early in the morning. Get home for the kids, see Gorka. Can't wait to take this makeup off, take my lashes off. Well, I say lashes. Little individuals. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was a decent night. Decent night, however, get me to bed. <laughs> Tio is developing so fast that even when Gorka gets back from a weekend in Spain, he's grown. He's born. <laughs> he's born. He's always so happy Ooh. when he's eating, isn't he? He's such a big boy now. He's even sleeping in his own room. Tiago's in his own room now. Sleeps in his own bed, which I don't know whether I'm sad or happy about. Oh, it's so good. He sleeps better. So do I. Well, no, Gorka doesn't do anything in the night at all. What do you mean I don't do anything? You don't get up. Apart from the two nights I've not been here, you've not done one night feed with Tiago. That's not true. It is true. No, it's not true. When have you done a night feed? How many times I made bottles? Or I'm, like, pushing him like that, he's just screaming. But I'm on about a feed. Yeah, cos you're feeding him, so I'm just there. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, you put it this, you're like at the football game, you know what I mean? You're the star of the team, you're the one playing all the time because you're the best player. I'm the one sat on the bench in case you get injured, come and cover you. Is that how you get round it? How was that today? Um, yeah, it was good. But it was very loud. So what happened with your dress? Oh, it fit. Yeah. I mean, I saw it literally about 40 minutes before I was leaving. Nice. I said to Ryan, I thought it looked like a dress Holly Willoughby would wear for dancing on ice. Beautiful. Holly Willoughby wears, she's got an all in white one. She looks stunning in yeah. it. And I put it on and I said, oh yeah, it's like Holly Willoughby. And he just went, I was going for Kim Kardashian, but it's fine. You will look good without being back. Do you mean? I mean, I've been back, like, it would be like latex, it would be quite erotic. Is it erotic the word? Herotic, erotic. Yeah. Oh. Ah! On a Sunday kind of love. Two bananas. Now we mash the bananas. Make sure you mash it like that. As Gorka works in Madrid every Saturday judging the Spanish version of Strictly, we keep Sundays free for family time when he's home. I think Sundays is turning into like a baking Sunday, isn't it, Mia? We enjoy the bake on a Sunday. You're gonna put the sugar, yeah? Can I put it? Yeah. We're raising Mia and Tiago to eat healthily, but we always love a treat. And Mia and Gorka's favourite hobby after dancing is baking. And someone has to eat the results. It's more than love at first sight. So you can't eat it now? No. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I was going to have a big slab. We've got to wait till tomorrow. After school. <laughs> you fuming. <laughs> Luckily for Mia, today's bake doesn't need to set overnight. It's banana loaf you can eat straight away. Can you hold this? Yeah. And gentle tip it, yeah? And I tell you when to stop, yeah? Almost there. That's it. Can I put it here? Let's do one thing. Open it here. Come on. No, that's it. This is your favourite part. Can you put a spoon in here? Are you going to do the spoon uh, test? No, she's going to put it here. All right. Put it like that. I can do it. Ooh, look at you using the proper technique. Tekka's on you, Mia, we're cooking. Can you ready for this, Mia? Yeah. How long does it take to bake? No, no, wait. Look at that, Mummy. Oh, my goodness. Wait, Mia, wait. Mia, stop eating that. Okay. 
Presentation right. is everything, isn't it, Corks, for you? Yes. If it was me cooking it, it'd taste the same, but it'd look different. I ain't got the time for that. Whereas he's very precise, perfectionist. OK, Mia is ready. We're going to put it in now. Hello? It's ready. Can we eat it? No, it's re it's ready gotta, to go in the oven. It's got to cook first, but then we can all try some. How about that? I don't know what it looks like that. <laughs> I know, it's like a bit of a... <laughs> an opening. What do you think, Mia? Yeah, it's it looks like yum after birth. What would you give it marks out of ten? <laughs> it does look like my C section, doesn't it? Can you open that? How long is it going for? Forty minutes. How are ten? So it'll be out at five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Perfect. So quarter past four, coffee and a banana bread. All right, let's do this. I feel like we need some kind of dramatic music. There you go. What's wrong with that? A lot of things. Oh! Don't bin it. Please don't bin it. I can still eat it. It's ready! What? Ready! Do you know what I mean? What a disaster. What do you think? Yeah? Very disappointed. You're disappointed? Yeah. Well, nice, isn't it? Well done, Papa. I will stay to stick to cheesecakes. <sighs> that is genuinely, I'm not even lying, one of the nicest banana breads I've tasted, genuinely. Can I have some more, Papa? Yes, you can. <sighs> the problem of being a professional dancer, you're very <laughs> strict and very, like, well, so you know next time to leave it in a bit longer and see if Tiago likes it. No. <laughs> Hi, can I take your order, please? Yeah, no banana bread. Yeah, I'd like a, I'd like a drop banana bread, please. It's not about the end, it's about the journey, isn't it? Making the banana bread was fun. Hey! Oh, two! For the first few days, my body was in bits. Like, I couldn't move out of bed. I was, like, trying to gym out my back. Wish me luck, Mia! How do I stop? Come on, Gemma, it's your last time. If I can have a bum like Gopher and he stripped the pants, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I became a dad, everything hits me a lot harder. I come here. Oh, thanks, Paul. Oh, it's OK. You'll oh. be fine. We're going to build a bug hotel. Look at that. I'm in the door. Bug hotel is now 